Spider duck. Microphone. <laughs> We're on the road. We're in Europe. We're in Dublin. That's why I look disheveled. And I'm very sad that I look disheveled, but I like making videos more than caring about my appearances. I heard you walking up behind me. <laughs> Hello there. You're very excited about your bag you got for six pounds, aren't you? I've never made a tier list before, but we're going to make a tier list today. I'm going to be tier listing all of the Spider-Man suits that are in live action. Going from Tobey Maguire to Andrew Garfield to Tom Holland. Crazy, I know. It's as if it's self-explanatory. And fun fact, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield combined, even if you account for uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2 having ever so mildly different suits, even if you account for that, combined, they have less suits than Tom Holland has had. Let's begin. We're going chronologically. So, naturally, we shall begin with Tobey Maguire's homemade suit. It's a classic. It's a classic. I'd rate it B tier. It's classic. Everyone knows what it looks like. Everyone loves it. But you know what? It's, it's, it's just a starter Spider-Man suit. It's great, but you know, it's just the beginning. But by the time Tobey Maguire, like, he moves on, he makes his full-on Spider-Man suit with the raised webbing in Spider-Man 1, it's an A tier suit. It's a really good suit. Like, you know, he's got the raised webbing. The one thing I will say, I'm not the biggest fan of that chest emblem or the triangle eyes. I've come around to the eyes as time has come on more and more, but everything is ever so mildly refined in the Spider-Man 2 suit, which is the same suit that they use in Spider-Man 3. It's the same suit, but you know, Spider-Man 1 and 2, it's the same suit. It's A tier as well. It's basically identical aside from minor color differences. And then we have the Raimi black suit. I'm putting it in B tier. I've never been the biggest fan of this design. I know there are differences between it and the red and blue suit. However, it just seems like the red and blue suit, but in black. Let's move on to Andrew Garfield. I'm putting Andrew Garfield's homemade suit in C tier. It is very basic to me. It is what I imagine I would create for my first Spider-Man suit if I were actually Spider-Man because it's just a mask and just he wears a jacket. And the thing is, the jacket isn't even red. Like that's a bare minimum you could have done to bump it up a little bit. It's, it's very C tier. It's very mid. It is fine. It is doable. I don't get why he has the mask and a beanie on top of the mask. That's a little strange. Andrew Garfield's like his first Spider-Man suit in Tasm 1 is B tier. It's an unpopular opinion that's sort of becoming a little more commonplace is that it's kind of okay. It's not good. It's B bordering on a C tier or C bordering on a B. It's between those two, honestly, for me. But... I'm going to give it a little edge because I'm feeling generous today and put it in B because I can see what they were doing. It wasn't good. They didn't achieve it well, but I can see the vision. And honestly, with a few minor tweaks, you know, maybe if I'm not lazy enough, I'll throw up a minor edit. I legitimately think that this suit could be pretty okay. I think the main issue is just the eyes, those weird yellow sunglasses, which more realistic, but also it's, you know, it's a comic book movie. Realism does not matter in the slightest. But now we're getting to perfection with the Tasm 2 suit. That is an S tier. That suit was the pinnacle of Spider-Man suit design for years. It looks ripped right out of the comic book pages it is perfect in the amazing spider-man 2 it is vibrant and beautiful and oh it's i love it there is a reason that before no way home everyone undoubtedly like uh, unanimously was like that is the best spider-man suit and it comes from the worst spider-man movie <laughs> 
But now, we've arrived at the third Spider-Man, the most recent Spider-Man, Tom Holland, spider Hall man The first suit chronologically that we see is his homemade suit in Civil War in the videos that Tony is playing. Honestly, this suit is awesome. It's an A tier. It is so cool. Everyone loves it. And, you know, my headcanon is that that is, like, his, like, second or third homemade suit. Like, he's made, because he's a pre-established Spider-Man, that is, like, his second or third. Like, he's made a few suits before that really cool one. But it's the first one we see, and honestly, it's so, it's so fucking cool. It is awesome. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves the Tom Holland homemade suit. But now we move on to the Stark suit. It's in between a B and an A. If there's a rank in between B and A, it's there. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. I really love a few of the things that it has. Like the eyes that actually move and change are really amazing. And I really like a lot of like the suit pattern and texture. I like the webbing texture, actually. I don't like the emblem a ton. I also am not the biggest fan of like the black lines going across the shouldery bits here. I don't know why a lot of people nowadays seem to think you need something there when you don't. So this suit is really in between a B and an A for me. It's really good. It's really classic. There's just a couple things holding it back a little bit. Just a couple tiny things holding it back. But it's still pretty good. It's still it's still in between a B and an A. It's still pretty good. And now, boys, girls, and all that's in between, we've arrived at one I can talk about for a while. At the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, we see a new suit. The Iron Spider suit. This dog shit ass water suit belongs in negative F tier. This suit is legitimately awful and I hate it with every fiber of my being. Why is it that maroony red color? Why is the blue dark deep navy? Why are the colors so muted and desaturated on Spider-Man? This duck is more saturated and Spider-Man looking than the Iron Spider suit. Also, why is the emblem... I know I just complained about the Homecoming Stark suit emblem. And, you know, one of my things with it is that it's a little too small for... Like, you know... But, like... That is way too big of an emblem. And... I... I have a thing with nanotech. I think it should only be on certain characters. And Spider-Man is not one of those characters. This suit sucks. This suit sucks. And I legitimately hate this suit. It, I just, I don't love it. I don't, no. I don't, it's not that I don't love it. It's that I actually just hate it. It's that, it's that I hate it. It's bad. This suit is bad and should not look like this. The suit in the comics, the Iron Spider suit in the comics, looks fantastic. And yeah, it's really simple and streamlined. But the goddamn PS4 game, like, updated it to modern standards with lines and crap. So why couldn't the movie make it look better? Why does it look like garbage? I hate it. And I hate that that suit is the one that shows up in every goddamn Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. It is in Homecoming at the end. It is in Far From Home at the beginning. And it is in No Way Home for a majority of the movie until Doc Ock's tentacles suckle up some of its nasty little juices and pours it back over a suit that we will get to that integrated trash. I hate, I hate the Iron Spider suit in the MCU. So that being said, it belongs in F tier. Nothing can console me right now. I am talking about Spider-Man. <laughs> I can eat that. Canonically, the next suit Tom Holland gets is the Night Monkey suit, also known as the Stealth suit. It's okay. I I don't really I don't know I don't have I don't have many opinions on this suit. It's it's okay. It's kind of mid. While I praised Tom Holland's homemade suit for the fingerless gloves, I think this suit fails by having fingerless gloves. Its whole point is to be all black and a stealth suit, but it actively leaves behind evidence with fingerprints, so what's the point? I, all, I, I just don't like the suit. I don't like how the eyes flip up. It looks really weird, and like they 
they make a weird joke out of it being the night monkey which is kind of funny but like also at the same time i don't know this suit just doesn't work for me and i'm kind of glad that he he loses it i don't like the texture being like a kevlar vest for some reason like i i get it makes sense in the story he doesn't want to be seen in europe and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. but like it could have just been spider-man taking a vacation as well you know like the stark suit was right there he actually had it actively the night monkey suit looks kind of mid it's c tier but then far from home graces us with something beautiful something sublime something that dreams are made of the advanced suit i believe it's called the advanced suit at least that might be the name of the ps4 suit however the red and black color combo being a reference to Stanley and Steve Ditko's original color combination for Spider-Man. And the fingertips being red and with the black. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I like it so much. I only have a few minor complaints about this. The web wings, I think, are a little too long. I like when the web wings are like from here to here, you know. Keep that shit about, about at the ribs. When it goes too far, he looks like Flying Squirrel Man instead of Spider Man. So you know, just a little, just a little smaller. But that that that's minor. That's minor. That's really minor. I think the emblem on the back should have been red instead of white. But you know, again, 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 minor, minor, minor. This suit is amazing. I love it. I wish the red went down the arms. You know, like the classic Spider Man suit design. But you know, I don't mind the full sleeve look. Like this suit's good. This suit's really good. I really like this suit. This is an A tier bordering on an S tier. The S tier is reserved exclusively for the best of the best. And while I personally really love this suit, I can recognize that there are some that are better. But this is the top of A tier, and with just some minor adjustments, it'd be an S. It'd be an S tier easily. It's depressing that it gets green paint thrown on it, however, so Tom Holland advanced suit but with green paint on it is going down to a D tier. However, this leads to what the stealth suit should have been. The black and gold suit in uh, No Way Home, which is just the advanced suit turned inside out. Honestly, this is the stealth suit just done better. Plus also a weird enchanted magical web shooter bracelet thing. I recognize it's not the best. You know, it's not a classic Spider-Man suit. I th personally think it's a really cool reference to, like, maybe the symbiote Spider-Man or maybe one of the spider armors. But honestly, I don't care. This suit just kind of looks really cool. And it's really good in the fight scene that he has with Electro and Sandman. Like, yeah, I know it's just there for that one scene. One fight scene and then it's gone. But you know what? You know what? It's kind of cool. B tier. But remember how I mentioned like an integrated suit during uh, talking about the devilish suit that we don't speak of, the horrible iron spider suit? The integrated suit is really bad. It's really bad. This integrated suit is offensive. It's offensively bad because it took one of the best suits ever. It took the best Spider-Man suit that Tom Holland had ever, it took something amazing and great and smeared shit on it. It smeared gold and black, unsaturated, muddy crap all over it, and I hate it. Not as much as the Iron Spider suit, even though it is part of the Iron Spider suit. Tom Holland could have met Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man in such an awesome, cool, red and black suit. But no, he met them in the, the ruined version, the red and black and gold the integrated suit. It was ruined. It could have been so cool. It could have been so cool. Thank you. It could have been so cool. This suit ruined a perfect one and disappoints me. I'm putting the integrated suit in F tier, alongside the Iron Spider suit, where it can think about its mistakes. After crawling into such a pit of darkness with Tom Holland's suits, I mean, 
Iron Spider integrated. The Night Monkey suit being kind of mid. Is there truly any hope? Hope. Hope. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's hope. And it's called the final swing suit. I don't know what it's actually called. I call it the final swing suit. Tom Holland's final swing suit is so goddamn perfect. The shiny blue, the pure bright red, the spider emblem that is so good and perfectly sized. The eyes that keep the, it looks like it's going to keep the mechanical shutter, like, you know, the squinting, it, like it can open and close and have the different expressions, which I love on Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I think all future Spider-Man should just have that inherently. And I love that the PS4 game just has it because it's perfect. And oh my God, this suit is perfection. I think its logo is beautiful. And I think just in general, this suit is fan Fantastic. Honestly, on any given day, it would be hard for me to choose between this suit and the Andrew Garfield Taz and Two suit as the best Spider-Man suit. But right now, I feel pretty comfortable, pretty confident, pretty happy in saying that this suit, the final swing suit, Tom Holland's newest suit, is by far the best Spider-Man suit we've seen in live action. S tier. And I swear to God, if they ever change it, other than the symbiote suit, if they change it, if they add nanotechnology to it, if they do anything like that to it in the future Spider-Man MCU movies, I will throw a goddamn fit. So, this is my ranking my full tier list. And honestly, I would love to hear some of your opinions. If you make a tier list of all these suits, I would love to see it at me on Twitter. I'll link my Twitter below. It's at HanepYT. It has to have the YT. Long story. I hate it. You got banned. I still don't know why, but I hate having the YT, but it has to be there because, yes. But at me, I would love to see them. And if you're new here, I like and subscribe. If you like this video, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. You know, this is the standard YouTube end of the video stuff because I'm a standard YouTuber. And yeah, that is the end of the video. Standard YouTuber video ending. Insert here. Yes. Adios.